Hey guys, Austin Flagpole here, or on Twitter at flagpole for you. I got up this morning before church, and uh, I was scrolling Facebook because I just made a Facebook. So I was just going through to see what the average person or whoever's watching this video, my friends, all of you, I wanted to see what you post. Uh, and something that caught my eye was, of course, this whole Christian bakery lawsuit. You know, everybody wants to sue the Christian bakers. Uh, which I don't understand. Uh, one of the things that I repost this morning, it was a related video to that, was this Christian guy, he called, I guess, like 13 gay-oriented uh, bakeries, and uh, he called, like, these 13 locations, and they all treated him poorly, and uh, I don't know, it just got me thinking a whole lot. You know, I've been, I've been thinking about it all morning. I Actually, first thing I did, I got out of the shower because... Every guy does all his thinking in the shower or on the toilet, naturally. So I'd actually, I wrote out like a whole a whole lot of things to talk about, but I mean, obviously I'm not going to spend all day talking about this stuff, but I, I didn't want to rush into it and just make a video. I went to church first, uh, and a lot of what was going on in church today kind of related to what I was processing. Well, I did my thoughts. And I, I kind of scribbled a couple down. And I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for this video. But whatever. It's got to happen. Now, a lot of gays, they often feel pressured. Like, people are telling them it's bad to be what they are. Now, I made a video previously about the site called Meet Me that I use sometimes. I don't use it right now. But I sometimes use it when, I don't, when I'm feeling down or I don't have a whole lot of friends. Now, the funny thing about that site is females don't ever message me on it. I don't know what it is. Maybe I just have some weird appearance. Well, it's always gay men that come to me on that site, and they always pressure me, making me feel bad for being straight. Uh, <clears throat> due to what I do, everybody knows what I do, um, I get a tweet or a message on Tumblr every single day that's kind of like pushing me. They're like, so when are you going to finally come out and just come to our side? Why do I have to go to your side? Why can't we just enjoy what we're doing now? Why can't you just love me for what I do and who I am? Why do you have to, every day, why do I have to constantly be pressured that I'm not good enough because I'm not on your side? Like I'm on your side to an extent. Isn't that enough? Well, Today in church, in my Sunday school class, I go to the men's class naturally, uh, but it's all like older guys and whatnot, but they wanted us to give our testimonies. So I went around the room and it came to mind and I've, you know, uh, I've got quite a testimony and the reason I'm still here and alive today, I owe to two things, gay men and Jesus. Uh, I owe it to gay men because when I was going through my depression and whatnot, I was already uh, doing the whole posting pictures online and whatnot because I, I honestly, I utterly hated myself. I had absolutely no self-respect or self-esteem and during the self-mutilation, I somehow got into the whole what I do now. Uh, and it was due to the gay men because right from the bat, that's all it was. And I respected it. But through all the positive feedback that they would give me, it completely changed my outlook. I started to appreciate myself. And honestly, if it hadn't been for that, there's no way Jesus would have been able to come into my life. Because I was already too far gone. So if it hadn't been for the gay men, I don't know where I would be. Another thing, I don't, I don't really understand it completely, so maybe it's not my place to talk about it, but where does it say being gay is a sin? Now this, this bothers me because a lot of gays think that there is no religion for them or anything like that, but God is for everyone. So, I mean, being gay is in a sin, so I feel like, why don't gay people go to church too? Like, why can't they? What's wrong with that? Like, uh, this whole Christian bakery thing. 
Like, why is it that big a deal? Like, just like I, my next thing I was going to say was, don't be hypocritical if you're, a, <clears throat> if say a Christian doesn't like you because you're gay, like, don't make a big deal out of it. It's not, like, it's, it's worse on them because they're the ones that's, like, breaking commandments and such by not loving thy neighbor. Uh, it's not my place to judge you for who you are. Which kind of bothers me because I'm judged so much by who I am, what I do. Uh, I'm judged for being straight, obviously. I, I mean, I've been saying that, but... I mean, I'm not saying that you should go and barge into every church you can and demand that they treat you equally, and then if they don't, go sue them, because that's what they're doing with these Christian bakeries. Uh, now it's getting kind of out of hand. I don't know. I just feel like everybody should be treated equal. I mean, I'm not going to go to a, like this guy who made this video calling 13 places, I'm not going to go to one of them and then sue because they're not treating me with the same rights. Uh, but then too, I don't know the whole stories. I'm not really reading too deep into this. I, I mean, I've heard of it, but this article I read this morning, these were the first two I've even seen. So maybe I've got it all wrong and whatever. But I feel like if you and I you being a homosexual and me being straight, if we were both to die right now and we're standing at the gates of heaven figuratively, if we're standing at the gates of heaven side by side and they're reading, they're going down the list and they go to me first and they're reading my entire list of everything I do wrong, everything, every sin, all of it. You know, they're going to go down this huge long list. I've broken almost every single commandment. I've stolen, I've cheated, I've adulterated, I've done everything. And I love Jesus, and Jesus loves me. And I honestly feel like they're going to let me in. But you know what? Before I walk through, I'm going to stand there, and I'm going to watch. They're going to read you yours. And they're going to say, you did love Jesus. And your only sin was that you loved another human? What are you even doing standing here? Come in. Like, What? I don't understand it. Like, it's not a sin. It's there's nothing wrong with it. They're gonna look at you and go, "Why are you even standing there? You should already be inside." I don't know, guys. I I feel like the world is it's getting a little too twisted. Uh, there's equality for all of us. Why can't we just be happy together? We don't need to go sue each other because oh, somebody doesn't want to make you a cake. Well, that's on them. They're the ones that's gonna suffer for it later. You don't need to stoop to their level I mean when they want to hate you for what you are that doesn't mean you need to turn around and hate them back you should feel bad for them you shouldn't stoop to their level I don't know guys anyways I love you I can't even can't even get my arms together this jacket's so tight but it fits really well so I like it thanks for watching guys I expect that there's gonna be a lot of hate mail coming in after this video um, but whatever. I'll still love all of you either way. Thanks for watching.